Data blending is a method of combining data that supplements a table of data from one data source with columns of data from another data source. In our case, we would combine the sales data from the audiobook sales file with the ratings column from the audiobook reviews file. How does blending differ from joining? You can think of a data blend as a specific type of left join that is preferable or necessary to be applied depending on various conditions. Sometimes using a join will do a perfect job, while in other situations, blending will either deliver better or quicker results or be the only solution. Moreover, joining data is something you do manually, whereas data blending is a functionality that Tableau implements automatically while you are working on your sheet. This makes it a more intuitive feature to use, provided that the following conditions are met. Both data tables are separate data sources. There is a field that serves as the connection between them and would allow us to carry out queries that leverage information from both tables. So, one of the preliminary basic requirements to blend data in Tableau is to have a common field, creating the connection between the two data tables. From a technical perspective, what blending does is take separate query results from each data source and aggregate them in the view, that is, in Tableau. Only then it will connect and join the query results on the same common field, which should contain information of the same data type. This is different from the case when you are using a join, where the aggregation is happening at the database level and just the output of the join is being brought back to Tableau. When blending, the aggregation occurs in Tableau. So, what are the benefits of blending data? It turns out that joining or blending can bring different results. And here is the tricky part. If you join two data tables containing duplicate values that are not aggregated properly in while doing some preliminary work on the data, you will obtain an artificially inflated data set in Tableau. Blending solves that problem automatically. Tableau will consider the level of granularity you have chosen in the view, in other words, in your sheet, and will combine the data sources with aggregated fields directly. Okay, I think we are ready to create an actual blend in Tableau. Let's open the audiobook sales file first. Then, once I've opened the file, I'll open a sheet and click on New Data Source from the Data tab. This is how we will create a new data connection and will load both files at the same time without creating a join. As we can see here, both files are open in Tableau. To make sure we've created a blend, I can open the Edit Relationships dialog box and see whether Tableau has created a connection between the two files. In our case, things are pretty straightforward because Tableau immediately recognized that the two files contain columns with the same name, transaction ID. The primary data source is the audiobook sales file, which is excellent. This means it would represent the left table of the left join performed while blending the data. Tableau, or alternatively, the view, will use all rows from audiobook sales. Audiobook review, instead, acts as a secondary data source, the right table. Therefore, while blending, Tableau will use the aggregated rows from this data source, based on the dimension of the common fields. For the sake of exercise, Let's select the Custom Relationship Radio button and choose not one, but two different fields that serve as the connection between the two files. This is similar to having a two-column primary key and a two-column foreign key in SQL. I'll click on Add, and then would like to connect the date of review and the date of purchase. Hmm, I can't see the date of purchase in here. 
What is the reason? Well, Tableau didn't recognize that this is a dimension and added this field among measures. Let's change its data type and open the Edit Relationships window and select to add a new custom relationship, which connects the two files based on the date of purchase and on review date. And that's how we edit the relationship Tableau created. All right, let's switch back to the automatic connection Tableau created. In our next video, we'll test whether blending solved the problem we experienced earlier. Hopefully, we will be able to combine sales and reviews without any problems. Stay tuned.